Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. It's maybe lettuce are overpriced. I don't know, as a lot of people said that the price fluctuation list doesn't really, isn't particularly accurate. But I think what we'll do is we'll go with one with lettuce and we'll go with one with strawberries. But in order to be able to actually make it work, you do have to have water on there first. So we will go and get our tractor and we'll get our tanker and we'll put some water right in there. We've got to pay for our water. So we haven't had to move the bales, which I'm actually kind of pleased about. Ooh, ooh, look, look, we've got wool. We, we, we've actually got wool, and, and, the wool is on Euro pallets as well, which means mass 480 kilos, 5 litres. It's too heavy, I can't pick it up, I can't move it. There's only 5 litres of wool on there at the moment. Is that all you've produced all this time? You've been here and you've given us 5 litres? Oh, it's because of the health thing. Once that goes all the way up, once we, uh, the water, because we got water and we've got grass in there, that, that's all fine. Once that goes all the way up, the, the wool production should start to increase a little bit. Uh, you won't see wool here. It actually stores it inside the pen. If the pallets fill up, it will store surplus inside the pen, so you will see some extra being stored there. But at the moment, we, the only way we're going to be able to move those is either with an auto load or with our tractor with a front loader. And this is kind of what I was thinking, was the wool pallets, we'll move them off of here with the pallet fork, and we'll put them somewhere else, and then we can load them with the auto loader. We've got to, move them by, we've got to be able to move them with the machine. If we, if we don't have the capacity to move them with a machine, then we don't get to use an auto loader with them. I think that's a fair compromise to make, because I know that not all of you like the idea of me using an auto load. But I don't want to be handballing the pallets all the time. So let's go this way. We've got 5,800 litres at the moment. So my plan right now is I'm going to put half into each greenhouse. And you'll see why in a minute. Because the, there is a ridiculous amount that can go into each greenhouse. So I figure we're probably going to need to come down this way. Down here. That needs a bit more work when we've got some more money. Huh. I think I'll put these too close together. <laughs> Oops. Right, let's 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 close the door there for a start. I can get in here. I can get in here. And I was wanting to see if I could swing out round from where the pallets are so that we we're not actually hitting any pallets. So we can start in here. Start overloading. I wanna put two and a half thousand liters into this one there and then come out around here this is why there's another reason i wanted to kind of smooth this out a bit so that we can get round the back here without too much trouble and then we can come on around here i like that we do have a reasonable range on this one unfortunately you can't just drive down the side of the greenhouses and actually reach the tank that isn't an option that and then we'll open up these doors yeah we can get past that we'll see if we can leave it open okay so we'll do one as to i'm gonna do one as tomatoes and one as strawberries the reason i want strawberries is because i want lots of pallets because i want the um play around with the um the thingy so we'll we'll activate that and we've got it on storing at the moment you can have storing it you can have distributing and it'll send it on to the next one or you can have selling and it will sell it automatically but you do get less money for it I don't want to do that. So let's go with tomatoes, and I'll activate that one as well, and we'll leave this on storing. If you want to change it, click on lettuce there. Change output, automatically selling. Change output, distributing, and that will go on to the next step in the chain. Tomatoes and lettuce don't have a next step in the chain. Strawberries do. So I go there, and I go to storing. But I could do this with the animals as well. Oh, no, I can't. I thought you could, but you can't. So you can't do that with the animals. Um, you've got to go and take the wool from the animals and you've got to move it on to the next location. And then here I can come out round and we can travel back along here. We kind of need to... I could probably spend another 20,000 on fashioning this area a little bit better. 
I don't, I'm not entirely happy with this at the moment. Much the same as I'm not entirely happy with the ramp that we got up there, but it's got to, we've got to allow for the pallets to be able to sit there, and that kind of like does make it a little bit more difficult. But we're, we're slowly getting there. We, we'll eventually, this area up here is going to be turned into our yard. So we'll bring, I'll bring that one in there, and then I will just start loading up. It is a bit slow to load. That's fine. And I've got 5,000 left now. My trailer that I'm going to want to get is how 9,000. Right, I need nine grand to be able to do that. We are going to have to have a customized license plate for this one. The chassis, we can have black if we want for the same price. I think we'll go with the black on this one. And the wheels, we've got BKT or Trailborg. I don't even know what BKT stands for. I think someone has actually told me in the um, comments what BKT stands for. But I'm not sure what it is. Anyway, I don't have the money to go and get that one. And we know that we can do some contracts if we want to. To make a little bit of money. But to be honest, um, some of them are a bit limited on what money we can make. It is a little bit limited on what money we can make on what jobs. Um... Uh, Fertilizer jobs, they do, they, they are profitable. It is definitely worth doing fertilizer jobs. Uh, some of the others, not so much. You, you will struggle to make money on cultivating, plowing, stuff like that, unless you do the job yourself, which is not really something that I want to do too much of. We all know that I don't particularly want to do that, so I'm not going to. I don't feel I have to. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to unload into this one. And if I go back into production here... We've got 4,000 there. We'll put the whole lot into that one. And then if I go into here, I've got 2,700 litres gone into here already. And there's not a huge amount right there. I've got 13 litres of strawberries there. And then I've got on this one, tomatoes, I've got 6 litres so far. Uh, so I've got about 10,000 litres there. It's not even completely full. So I could put another full tanker into this greenhouse. And two more full tankers into the other one. And that's actually what I'm going to do. I think we could do that. But actually we can, we can afford to fast forward time as well. I was just thinking maybe we shouldn't because we don't want to be fast forwarding time. We don't want to be losing out on stuff. I've got 9,000 that I want to like put aside somewhere to build a shed to put hay in. And we'll eventually kind of get the hay going into the sheds and we're going to put that up near the sheep up there so we've got to level a site for it and do that and then i've got another nine grand that's going to be for the auto load pallet that we're going to be getting so that we can go and start loading up the pallets of strawberries and everything else that we're going to be getting or stra strawberries and tomatoes at the moment Another greenhouse down there is another thing that I want to get. I think three greenhouses would be brilliant because there's one of each. Yeah? If we could have one of each, that would be absolutely amazing. So I've got this greenhouse here and I've got this one here. Over this way, we'd have to definitely sort of take it up a level. Uh, we could actually spin this one around. Or maybe I could just even put it here. So it's lower down, but I'm, I was kind of wondering actually about turning it round and putting it that way and bringing it up there. Or we could kind of do it like that and put it in across there, something like that there. I don't know, but I, I mean, I like the idea of having three greenhouses here on this one. I don't think we will do more than three greenhouses on this hardcore series. There are other things that I want to get. I want to build up the sheep so that we can get the other production things going for the sheep, which is the tailor and the... Uh, it's the spinnery and then the tailor. So you, you make cloth and then you turn the cloth into clothing and then you sell the clothing. That's, that's one production chain I'd like to have going on this series. I think that would be quite cool if we could do that. I'll load this one into here and then... We'll... You know what? You know what? Production. Uh, generators. I think we'll go with this one. I think we will actually put in a cellular antenna 
We'll, we'll find somewhere to put it. I've emptied this one out. We drive back along there. Look, see, I've got a whole load of tomatoes already. And then I got a... Oh, that was strawberries back there, sorry. And then I got a whole load of tomatoes here as well. And you can see right there, that one is 130 kilos. I can pick that up by hand. And that's the thing. All of these pallets, I can pick them up by hand. Um, so we can hand stack. So for now, I don't even need to get the auto load trailer. I can just have a standard trailer and we can do it like that. I can stick them in the back of the Mahindra and I can take like two or three pallets off with that one and I can sell it. We're not going to get a great deal of money for it. Not with the Mahindra doing the, the running around. Right, I'm going to start loading that one. I'm actually going to just shut the engine off there a minute. And while that one's going, we'll slow this down. All the way down to there. And I'm going to get one of these antenna. I think that's actually something that... I think this would be a good idea. We'll, we'll get one of these. We'll, we've got... Um, telephone company has under license decided... You know, they, they've spoken... Oh, that land is not owned by me. So I could put one down here. I think the owners of this hotel are going to get a little bit annoyed with me if I do this. If I get too close to them doing this. Where is the limit of my land? Now look at that. All right. We don't own that bit up there, farmland. Oh, I see. Right, it comes over to here. I'm actually thinking that we want to try and put something in there. Because... They're going to want to be able to use the mast, but at the same time, because it would be good for their guests. Like, their, their guests are going to want to have um, excellent connectivity. So, an area, a, a, a building like that, a business like that, they would actually want to have something like this nearby, but not in such a way that it would spoil the beauty of the area. So it would have to be placed down very, very carefully. We would have to be very choosy about where we would be able to go and put this one in order for it to work. So I've got, I don't have enough money there. It's like 2,600. So I mean like near the trees would be a good start. Or failing that, we go up here somewhere and we put it up in this corner of our land. And that could work. And right down tucked in there. Like I kind of like this idea. But at the same time. I'm not sure that you would have it that low. Close to a road. That doesn't seem like something that would happen. I don't. I mean I don't know. I don't know everything there is to know about maths. I do know. That one farm that I used to work on. They actually had one of these. Installed on their land. They'd been paid to have it installed on their land. And it was just next to one of the sheds. It, it just happened to be there randomly next to one of the sheds. And it was on quite a high point of the land. So I'm thinking that we can go all the way up here. We own this land right up the top. This little kink of land up in through here. It's not like we're going to be doing anything else with it. This isn't going to be turned into an area that's going to use a whole load of crops. It seems like the perfect location for it, doesn't it? Right, 1,078 right there, fairly close to the road, 1,060. And it makes sense having it close to the road as well. Look, so you've got that little door on it. I'll bring that round that way. Went to 1,050 just there somewhere. 1,054. Perfect. Look at that. So that's 1,054. We get 20 euros an hour from that one. Right. It's there near the trees. It's not so close to trees it's going to cause problem. It's next to the road. It's it's obscure. It's out of the way. It's not spoiling the natural beauty of the area in any way. But those trees... I mean, there were a load of trees around the one that uh, was on the farm that I worked on. Apparently, that didn't interfere with them. So, I'm, I'm guessing that's not an issue. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I'm, I mean, I don't really know. But it was pretty much like this. It wasn't pine trees. It was deciduous trees that were nearby. And, I mean, they were out sort of... Maybe that Maybe that one's a little bit close. I wouldn't have thought so. Um, and it wasn't that far from a road as well. So the people that owned the mast, they could come along and they would just park up by the side of the road and do any servicing that they needed to do. Which is that's perfect. That, that is the perfect spot for it. So I'll leave that one in there. You wouldn't have more than one. We can't realistically think that we could have more than one of those anywhere. So we're going to leave it like that. 
The only thing that we don't have for realism in this series at the moment is anywhere to sleep. Now, there are some mods coming out that will give us somewhere to go and sleep. At the moment, I've got a Sleep Anywhere mod, so I can use that one. Which means that we can go down here and I guess we curl up underneath the Mahindra. I mean, that's, the, the seat looks kind of comfortable in there, I suppose. So, I mean, I guess we could kind of, like, sleep here. Field info. So, this, this is all field. This is all classed as field here. It just doesn't have... Well, it says crop type grass, but it doesn't show anything up. In the crop type grass which is odd but then if you look in there when I mean, we got plowing need we've got lime need and there where i've gone and done that we've got fertilized so yeah we could do putting a bit of lime on it i suppose but we're not going to worry about that we won't be cutting that bit again this bit up here we could get a roller and roll that so it'll get the second round of fertilizer done so it is actually a field it is class as field weirdly hmm. right so we need to sleep what's that one that is uh left shift z left shift and z and i will sleep until 8 a.m decent bit of sleep there we go so our sheep should produce something we should have a whole load of pallets there from the greenhouses that we can go and sell the weather right now, September the 1st, we get 120 euros in property income. We had property maintenance and stuff coming through there. The grass right here is saying ready to harvest because I've got a mod that uh, that was on Mod Hub that allows us to cut grass at any stage, any growth stage, which I actually really like. I think that's a really cool little mod. Um, but all the bales are still in the field. We, we're going to need to do something about those. We, we can't just leave those out lying around like that, can we? So let's have a look at the weather forecast first. It's going to be raining this afternoon. And now you can see we've got two days per month. And that's how I want to leave it. Because that way, if we do have like a load of rain there one day, it's, it's not really going to affect us badly. Uh, but we've got plenty of sunshine for a while. First up, let's go and check on our sheep. How did you do over the last month, little sheeps? You've used up that bale in there. You've now got 2,712. We're going to have to bring up a bit more water. The wool over here. We've now got 68 litres of, of wool. We're absolutely cooking on gas now. And that one is now at 100%. So we should 67 litres of wool right there. Oh. So it is actually starting to show the, the wool that we've got. That's, that's good as well. And then we've got a little bit of grass in here. So we're going to need some more food, which would be this bit over here. Um... I'm going to get one of these bales and bring that one up. So that's 600 litres of food right there, if I put that one down. And that bale has now got 312 litres left. Hmm. Right, we'll leave those there. First up, we're going to get the Mahindra, and we're going to take that one away. What have I got in the greenhouses at the moment? Let's just check the water. I've got 8,000 in that one. I had 8,000 in that one. So we want to put another load of water into each greenhouse. I've got 2,000 euros left. And start this one up. 460 is the capacity in the back. That little bit in the back in there. Uh, it's a bit dull in the morning at the moment. So let's speed this up. We'll go to 120 times and we'll let the, the time scale tick along fairly quickly. Just for a bit. And you can see that both of these are now completely full. So if I go in here and have a look, we're storing 2,000 litres of strawberries in there. And on this one, I'm storing 860 litres in there. And that is what I love. Is the reason that it's so dark and dreary up here is because the sun was down behind the mountain and that was casting shadow over it. Which is just amazing. How cool is that? That is genuinely cool. That is, that is really awesome. So I got these tomatoes. We're going to need to do something with that. Uh, if I go here and open the back. Ah, use the mouse to open the back. Okay. I can work with that. And then we've got to take these pallets. So I would say we want to pick the pallet up this way round, like that. There. And then I can put a pallet in the back there.
Yeah. Right. Well, it, it sort of picks it up, but then you can see there's already another pallet has come out. It's been pushed out from the stuff that we've got in the storage there. So if I rotate that pallet, as you don't know, the rotation that is middle mouse button on on you just just press and hold the middle mouse button and then move your mouse around a bit. You can do it like that. Put the second one on there, and then another pallet come out. And tomatoes are definitely the ones that are going to get us the most money at the moment. Oop, careful. Definitely the ones that will get us the most money at the moment. And there's another pallet come out. So I want to bring this around like this. And I know a lot of people do do this. They, they load their pallets up like this. So we'll go in here a minute and I'll close up that back door. Now if I put the strap on, that then shows me how much I've got. Now that says... 200 tomatoes. Well, that ain't right. That's not showing me an accurate representation because I got 130 kilos. Oh, 100 leap. It's not showing one of the pallets. One of the pallets isn't actually. I pressed the wrong button there. One of those pallets is not showing properly. Because I've got 300 litres in here. That one up there like that. <laughs> and then go in here. The pallet at the bottom isn't showing with the straps. That's not actually being registered. I don't think, realistically, we can expect to carry another pallet of these. But I'm going to do it anyway. We've got a long way to go with these, and there's a lot of steep hills. Really, really don't think... <laughs> so you see how much he's weighing down. <laughs> oh, this is going to be brilliant. Right, we'll put that lot on 400 kilos. He's definitely weighing down a bit there. Look at that. <laughs> right. We get 483 at the supermarket for tomatoes. That's 483 per thousand litres. I've got 400 litres. I've actually got 500 litres here. So all of this load that I've got is only going to get us um, about 250. 200, 240 euros. <laughs> 240 euros, no more. And I've got to get it there first. We're going to go out onto the road over there. And we're going to go down that way. I've got to get this to the supermarket without crashing and dying. Um, a small trailer would probably be a good idea. To be honest, the best idea would probably just to be to go and get our um, other trailer, unload the hay that's on it, and use that one. That would be the best idea. So what we are going to do is the next task that we need to do for this hardcore series is we need to sell the stuff we've got. We've got no money to go and buy something else. We'll be able to get an auto load trailer to start loading up some of these pallets. So we'll put aside some hay or we'll leave some of the stacks of hay. And we'll try and load up a load onto the trailer. Get quite a few bales loaded onto the trailer. And then we will take those and we will sell them. And actually, let me just stop a second because I want to see. There's a bit of road, a bit of, bit of terrain showing through the road there. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Hey! 43 per thousand litres. Uh, we get about 600... So, we're going to get 600 is 1,200, so say we're about 25 euros per small bale. Now, I'm thinking we're probably going to be wanting to sell at least 50 bales. So, that's 25, 250 times 5, 1,250. So, we get, if we sold roughly half the hay that we've got, we get about 1,250 euros for that. Steady with the Mahindra. 
And then we've got these pallets that we want to load. So we've got... Uh, we can bring then we can bring the trailer back and we can load up some of those. So let's go this way. You've got to be careful with the traffic as well, because the traffic these days is also fairly robust. And if you get sideswiped by something, it could do some serious damage. There's a 50 50k speed limit here. Who'd have thunk it? Here. Supermarket. I'm heading to the supermarket. That's the one that I gotta find. These pallets are moving around a little bit, they're jiggling a bit. No jiggling. No jiggling allowed. Straight across here. Better not go too fast or I might drive into someone. You've got to stop when they're going across pedestrian crossing. Uh, there's a sail point there directly in front of us. I don't know what that one is. What's that one in front of us? Need to go and have a look in the town. It's that one. Catherai. I don't even know what that is. Catherai Erlingrat. Milk. Uh, I don't know what that one is. I'm going to park right there a minute, in the middle of nowhere. And I'm going to come over here. Oh, it's for, it's the cheese. It's the cheese place. Right. Okay. Well, I don't want to buy the cheese place at the moment. I want to go to the supermarket. Now, you can actually go and buy your own sale points, and you, you can put them down on your own land. So we could buy ourselves our own supermarket, and, and plonk that down up the top. And, I mean, it's called supermarket, but it wouldn't actually be a supermarket, would it? You think about that, it'd be a farm shop. And that is quite a normal thing, to have a farm shop on a farm. I know all sorts, I know a lot of farms, actually, that have a farm shop. Some of them will set them up in a nearby town. Some of them do actually have their farm shop on their own farm. So that is nothing unusual whatsoever. I'd be quite happy to go and do that. And you also, you can have a restaurant as well. That's, that's another thing I've seen plenty of times. Right. I thought this would have auto-sold. Maybe I'm not supposed to be selling here. Take straps off, maybe? No. Huh. Supermarket 483. I'm at the supermarket. Oh! I wonder... If it doesn't like it being on there. I mean, we'll have a quick look around and see if there's another sell point on this supermarket. There is not. So I'm at the right place. We've got to unload the pallets. That's what we got to do. There, see? I'm holding it and it's unloading it. There. So we, we, we've got to do it like that. So I, I can chuck those out. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.